So, shall we just start with the most common simple question? Why did you become a vet? It's not a straightforward question at all because I don't really know the answer to it. My mum keeps telling everyone that I wanted to be a vet from the age of five. And obviously I can't remember being five. Um, but I never ever wanted to be anything else. So I never looked left or right. There was no, no plan B. I, I don't have a better answer. So I definitely took a very different path. I didn't want to work with agricultural animals or companion animals. I wanted to work with wildlife um, and I wanted to work internationally. So the Royal Veterinary College was definitely the perfect choice for me, um, despite that the challenges that I faced um, going from a US system to a UK system. But um, my choice was definitely to do the work that I'm doing today, which is incorporating wildlife health into conservation packages or efforts. I don't really know. I'm not sure. I just always grew up wanting to be a vet. And I don't know. I, I just, for as long as I can remember, I always wanted to be a vet. And I, I'm not sure I even knew why. I guess I had a, a, a love of animals. And um, I've, all, I've always loved animals. I was horse mad when I was younger. And, um, and even dogs and things. We never had a dog when I was young. So I'd go and walk everybody else's dogs and things. And um, I, I just liked working with animals. And it was just, it always seemed to be on my radar is what I wanted to do. And in fact, I ended up quite... Uh, nearly missing out and not ending up being a vet for various various reasons to do with school grades and things like that um well like so many well not all of us but quite a few of us uh when i was growing up uh i was i did volunteer work in a vet clinic and it was interestingly unlike a lot of vets I didn't actually want this from day one. You hear so many people say, oh, I wanted to be, you know, from the day, you know, I was born or since I was four or something like that. I actually came into wanting to be a vet fairly late. I was in my teens. And uh, the point being, I, I, I volunteered in the vet clinic. I, I actually ended up uh, getting a job there. This was in uh, Western Saudi Arabia. I grew up in the Middle East, actually. Point being is that, yeah, so you, you kind of got in there, you saw the day-to-day -day work, the, the boss at the time was very much into even letting the volunteers do as much as he thought they could handle, which uh, in fairness, you know, I really appreciated that. So you really got, got to see and do more than, you know, than just scrubbing the odd kettle. And it was just that hands-on side of things really appealed to me. Um, why did I become a vet? Um, <clears throat> so I suppose I thought about using the sciences because I found them quite inspiring. And then my godfather was a mixed vet back in the day. So in the 80s and 90s, in the heyday of mixed vetting. And um, I did some work experience with him. Um, and I just thought, well, I could be a vet. I could do that. I enjoy, I'd enjoy that. <laughs> I'd always wanted to be a vet for as long as I could remember. I just have a real love of animals. I think they teach us so much. They teach us that there's multiple ways of being in this world. If you ever feel that your sort of troubles are getting on top of you, just uh, think of what life is like for a, an ant on the floor or a mountain gorilla picking a tick off the, his friend in front of him or whatever it might be. I just think they give you a great view on the world. Humans have a tendency to be too anthropocentric and I think um, animals sort of broaden our horizons and our minds. So, And then someone, when I was much too young, let me watch Gorillas in the Mist um, with Diane Fossey and she was a massive inspiration for me. So I, I just, I, th I remember, I think like age six or seven, we had to fill in a worksheet saying what we wanted to be. And I filled in um, zoological veterinary surgeon with a few too many O's in zoological. <laughs>